The mother of a high school senior at Bishop Grimes is looking for answers after she said her son was singled out and searched for marijuana, and she was not notified by the school when it happened. News Channel 9's Jennifer Sanders sat down with the family. Walter Johnson has been at Bishop Grimes since seventh grade. He's now a senior at the school. On January 24th, he was called out of the classroom during an exam. That's when they started checking my clothes. Well, they asked if I was smoking or if I did before. And then that's when I said, no, I don't smoke. They searched his jacket and he emptied his pockets. He says he was later told the teacher smelled a scent of marijuana coming from his area. They didn't find any drugs on him. That's when they sent him back to the class to finish his exam. After I went back to take my test, I thought they would call someone else out, but they didn't. He was the only student searched in the classroom. Why didn't they keep investigating to see who it was instead of just blaming on one person? Johnson immediately called his mother. She called the school's principal to find out why her son was the only one searched and why she wasn't notified after it happened. Why didn't you um, search the entire area? Um, you know, did you ever get to the bottom of it? Um, you know, how did you expect for my son to be able to concentrate and continue to take his exam? This is his senior year, you interrupted him in the middle of the class. Him, not everybody else, but him. She was told to set up a meeting with the school officials. She showed us pages of emails between her and the principal and the superintendent. The responses that I received from them in the email definitely did not satisfy um, the questions that I was asking. And to me, it was almost like they wanted us to just act like it never happened. Her question, why was her son singled out? Page 9 of the student handbook says in part, quote, they understand and agree that employees of Bishop Grimes or their appointees have the right to search their person or property if the administrators, instructors, or staff reasonably believe the search will produce evidence of a violation of a school rule, the school's code of conduct, or the law. The Johnsons want to know if the staff didn't find marijuana on their son, why didn't the search continue until the school got answers? I never thought that would happen to me, like, as the years I went through there, and they thought it would be me, because, like, I never did anything like that, and I never planned on, so, like, I don't know, it surprised me. The same way they called him out in front of the class, they should be apologizing publicly in front of everybody, and they failed to do that. They failed to do a lot of things, and I want answers. My family wants answers, and we want to make sure it's going to be comfortable for Walter to continue his um, senior year at the school, because his tuition is paid, and he's there every day ready to learn, and he just wants to move on with his life, but what the school did was totally unacceptable. In Syracuse, Jennifer Sanders, News Channel 9. Now, Jennifer tells us she also spoke with Superintendent William Christ. He said he could not comment on the incident. Both sides said they have tried to meet with each other.